This is the exhibition of Tutankhamun, the boy king. Why they called him this? Because he uh, ascended to this throne very, at very young age. He was only nine years old. And he ruled uh, Egypt for uh, a very short time. Uh, after his uh, death, he was buried and uh, his tomb was hidden for almost 3,300 uh, years until it was the moment when Howard Carter, the English excavator, found the tomb. Inside the tomb of Tutankhamun, Howard Carter found more than uh, 4,500 pieces. Every object is a story itself. Each object has, it, uh, has its own function for the king, to help him, to give him a safe passage to the afterlife. Without these treasures, I don't think the king would be remembered. And that's why King Tutankhamun is being remembered and he will be remembered for so many years because of his tomb and his treasures. Most of the uh, artifacts were made of uh, solid gold. Other artifacts were made of uh, uh, wood chased with gold and uh, other artifacts were made of uh, ivory, beautiful jewelry. The richness of the exhibition, you know, translated into many things in meaning of the uh, quantity and uh, the numbers of the artifacts and the workmanship, you know, it was made with love. You have to uh, see it with your eye because we cannot describe the beauty of these artifacts. The exhibition in itself is a reflection of who the Egyptians are and what Egypt was, is and will be as well. And it is through these kind of cultural events that you are able to communicate with other societies, with other countries and with other people. If you understand where I'm coming from, and I understand where you're coming from, we will be able to communicate in a better way. We'll be able to build something together in a better way. This is the golden history of Africa. And you know, this is the shiny gold of Tutankhamun. And it, it is here in the uh, city of gold <laughs> of uh, South Africa. We wanted everyone, not only the people from Johannesburg, we wanted everyone who can come to take the chance this is a, a lifetime opportunity to see the wonderful treasure of Tutankhamun.